And this time we're about to request that the family who are here from uh, Mayor Dewey Bartlett. Lord, thank God, as he's coming, I'm going to ask all the other city officials, would you please stand so we can recognize city and state officials? Would you please stand? We want to recognize you, our city, state officials. We recognize you. Then we're going to ask the first lady of our city, Miss Bartlett, would you please stand? We're honored you're here with us. We're honored. Amen. At this time, Dewey Bartlett, followed by Kevin Matthews. If you were, come on up, Kevin, at this time. Thank you, Pastor. Well, on behalf of Councilor Jack Henderson, the First Lady of our great city, I speak for the entirety of our city. To the Crutcher family, I am so very sorry. The sympathies of this community is with you, and you honor us with your presence, your grace, and your request that this community speak out in prayer. And I can assure you those prayers have been answered throughout not only this community, but throughout the world. When our good president, Barack Obama, called me two days ago and said, thank you, Tulsa. Thank you, Tulsa, for showing the way. I especially want to thank the ministers, the religious community of this city, that when I called upon them and they called upon us to answer in peaceful protest and in prayer. Thank you. Thank you, Reverend Potter. Several years ago, Pastor Potter and I were having lunch together. We talked about a variety of things. And he said, you know, I'm getting very tired of burying people that I have baptized. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, too many young people have died in this community. Way too many. And we must stand up and say no more. I could speak many words, but I think the best one is love. Love of this community, love of this country, love of this family. When Mayor Taylor, I mean, pardon me, when Reverend Taylor suggested that we, after today, we must remember the family, that love of that family needs to be repaid more and more and more. Thank you very much for asking me to speak. 